So we're just going to collect a grenade. In this video, we're going to collect a grenade and attach it to the player. Now, it doesn't have to be a grenade. It can be any kind of item that you want to find and attach to the player. So I've modeled this grenade and I've um, just gone into here and removed all collision and added the simple sphere collision. Hit save. And I've also just thrown a grass material in there because I couldn't be bothered to UV and texture and stuff. So now I've got my grenade ready, I'm going to need to create two new things. So we're going to create a, a blueprint grass, and that's going to be the collectible version. Grenade, let's go, collectible. And this is just going to be the same if you've done the, any of the collectibles, so like the hunger system or um, the collectible one. We're just going to create it and add it to the scene like that. And for now that'll do. And what we'll do as well is we'll get our player and we'll open it, edit third person character. So last video I made was the hunger system. So on that one, if the player overlaps with the fruit, then it gets its hung um hungering, does all that other stuff, and that's fine. But we're going to use this um begin overlap as well. So let's say, for example, if it, if it tries casting its fruit and that fails, that's incorrect, then what we should do is we'll try cast to um, the grenade collectible. And let's just make sure that works. Print string. So if we put this grenade collectible on the floor, it didn't do anything. Let's just make sure that grenade is set to a trigger. There we go. So when we collect it, that's going to then turn on our grenade. Next thing we'll need to do is on our third person character, we're just gonna to go to the viewport and we're going to actually attach the frag grenade to our mesh. Now, make sure when you get in, you drag and drop it on here, you'll see it attaches. Now if I, for point of example, just put this here and press play, you should see that the grenade will follow me around but it doesn't look very fluid. I mean, there's a, a basic enough job, depending on whatever item you've got, that's sort of gonna work and be fine. Otherwise, what you want to do is, if you go with your frag grenade selected, click in the parent socket, and I'm just going to attach this to my spine. So I want it to look like it's on his bum. On his hip. Oops. There you go. That that'll do for now. And the whole idea is, by default, we're going to have the visibility set off. So with the frag selected, if we scroll down, and so we can see visible. We need to untick this. And then in our event graph, once we've cast it to our grenade collectible, we are going to create a new variable called got grenade. And with our got grenade, we're just going to drag it out. We'll get it first because we need to ask the question do we already have a grenade? Um, if true, then cool, do nothing. However, if we don't already have a grenade, then we're going to get reference to a grenade and we're going to set visibility. I'm just going to turn that to true, turn it to visible. And we also are going to need to set this set grenade to true. 
So if we don't have a grenade, when we collect it, we're going to be able to set it to true. So we're going to overlap it and then it instantly attaches to our hip. And as we run around, we can see we've got this grenade stuck to us like a weird sticky bomb. Um, let's also destroy the one on the floor. Now, that's pretty much it for like a collectible, but if we're just going to mess about a little bit more with the grenade, um, what we'll do is we'll just do an input. So I'm going to do input left trigger. I'm using um, a controller. So if left trigger is released, we're going to ask the question. So I'm going to highlight both and hit control W to duplicate. Do we? have a grenade and if it's true then we are going to want to spawn actor of class however right now we don't actually have an actor so let's quickly create a new projectile version of this blueprint class actor um, grenade let's go projectile and let's open it up and drag our frag in there again and on event graph, what we want to do is we will want to add some velocity. Velocity, velocity. Uh, set linear velocity on frag two. And uh, once we've got this, we'll also want to get our forward vector. Get forward vector and we're just going to times it by how much power we want to multiply this by so I'm just going to put 300 on that one and mute my Alexa okay so what should happen now is once we spawn this grenade it should go in forward um, velocity we could have done a projectile movement um, which we've used before in the past, but we're not because we want frag, and now we're going to have simulate physics because we want it to bounce around a bit. And let's just go back to our third person character and make sure we are spawning that. Um, grenade projectile. And it's going to say, Where do you want to spawn it from? And we're going to spawn it from the arrow. So if you've not already got an arrow, I'll just delete that, um, and let's add a component, which is an arrow, and make sure that arrow is attached to our mesh, and put it where you'd throw it from. So if we had just like an arm swinging animation, um, we'll do it about here-ish. Okay, there we go, that's our throwing direction, so let's get our arrow. And we will get world transform and drop that in there and hit compile. And let's give it a test, shall we? So we go over, we pick up our grenade that once disappeared, and we throw. Cool. And that just keeps going. <laughs> we should probably. Nah, it's fine. I was going to say increase the friction on it, but we'll blow it up instead. So, once we spawn this, let's add a, we're actually going to go about 800, see how that looks. We will do a delay of, let's say, two seconds, and then we will do a spawn particle at location. And I'm using the um, start content explosion. We'll need a location, we're not too bothered about scale. I mean, we can increase our scale if we want to, four, four, four. But rotation's gonna be fine. And let's get, so we're already getting this, but we'll get our location. Get world location. Let's drag and drop you in there. And then we'll just do one more delay about two seconds and we will 
destroy actor. Right, and then hopefully, so now we should be able to run over, we pick up our grenade, and then when we throw it, bounce, 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 pew, done, there you go. Um, how to make a grenade as well as how to pick something up and attach it to your body.